Welcome to ITK Barcamp. We are going to continue our introduction to the use of the command line prompt. And today we are going to work on copying files, moving files, and deleting files. Let's start by looking at our current working directory with the pwd command, uh, print working directory, it shows us where we are. And the ls command can show us the content of our current directory. The tree command and the indication of the current directory. So remember that dot is the replacement for all these long name here. So whatever PWD show us, that is what dot is replacing. Uh, tree will show us the structure of the current directory. So it shows us the uh, subdirectories and files that we have currently here. So let's start by copying, um, let's take file number four, and we are going to copy it into the Germany subdirectory. We use the cp command, that's copy, and we indicate the name of the file, file4, and the destination. Uh, so the destination would be um, Europe and Germany. If we stop the command here, then the file will be copied into that directory and will have the same name. If we look with 3, then we see that file4 has appeared over there. We could have also used the same command, but be more specific and we could actually use a different name for that uh, file in the destination directory. So um, we can call that new file 4 for example. If we use the tree command now we're going to see that other file over there and those two files are actually uh, holding identical content they just have a different name. So that's one way to use the, the copy command. Um, we could also use the copy command to um, indicate a source directory that is, sorry, a source file that is inside another directory. So, for example, we say that uh, a file 4 that is inside Germany, we want to copy it into Europe, um, Portugal, and we want to call it this time uh, Columbus. Txt. The tree command will show us this new file. Uh, over there. So in this case we have copied the entire content of file number 4 and stored it into this new uh, file with a different name, but the content is identical. So that's, that's the basic of uh, copy. Uh, you have the option of giving a source file, a destination file, and make an entire um, copy of the content. Um, copy um, also has a recursive option that allows us to copy an entire branch so we could do something like uh, copying uh, with the recursive option the content of Europe Germany into another directory called uh, we could copy it into Italy for example and we look at the tree we see that uh, this time uh, well I not exactly what I meant to do but uh, it's actually illustrative of what it does uh, we took the, the directory including Germany and make it uh, part of the content of Italy. Um, what I was actually uh, intending to do there, and for that I don't really need the recursive option, will have been to say that I want to put all the files that are in Germany and I want to put them inside Italy. Now, because I already made these mistakes, uh, let me remove that directory. For that we can use, uh, remember the command that we learned there, recursive rm and we have to make sure that we provide a very specific target directory because this is a very dangerous command so we are going to remove that um, German inside Italy okay and we go back and uh, this is um, more what we were expecting at the beginning now let me repeat that exercise but use it with uh, the entire Europe directory so we are going to do copy recursive the Europe directory and we're going to call it uh, just Europe dot and we're going to specify that is um, that new directory is going to be at the level of where we are so let's just call it Europe 2 for lack of a better name now the tree command is going to show us that we have this first Europe and now we have this Europe 2 and all the files that were files and directories that were originally inside uh, the Europe directory now are also copied here. So it's, it's a way of copying the entire directory uh, with recursion. We can 
clear. Uh, let me remove that new directory that we created. So in the Europe 2, we are going to remove it to the recursive option. And so it's now gone. Okay, and uh, we're going to now move directories. So uh, let's start with moving files actually. Let's take the file number 10 that is now at the top and we're going to move it inside of uh, the France subdirectory. So for that we do mv is the move command. We take the source file, file 10, and we're going to move it to the Europe directory uh, and under the France subdirectory. We call again the three command and we verify that the file went to that location. And we could move it from there to other locations. Let's move it to the Spain uh, subdirectory. Let's actually create a directory um, Europe, Spain, Barcelona. We can see that directory created there. And now we are going to move the file from um, France so from uh, Europe France, we take the file 10, we are going to put it in the directory Europe, Spain, Barcelona. Review the content with 3 and we can see that the file has been uh, removed from the France directory and now located, it's, it now is placed in the Barcelona subdirectory. Okay, so that concludes our exercise on um, uh, copying, moving, and deleting files and directories. Thank you for listening.